So in this video, I'd like to show you how you can create an audio transcription using make.com and the OpenAI Whisper API. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an audio file, run it through the OpenAI Whisper API, which is going to create a transcription. Then we're going to create a summary of the transcription, and then we're going to send that via email. And this might sound a bit like rocket science because we're using the latest AI technology out there, but it is really easy to do, especially if you are new to make.com. It is a great example to get started and show the full power of what you can achieve with make.com, even if you, like myself, are not really a developer as such. All right, so let's get started and jump right in. Okay, so before we get started, Let's run through it one more time with what we're going to do. So we're going to upload an audio file into a Google Drive. Then we're going to transcribe that audio file with OpenAI's Whisper API. Then we're going to create a summary and a translation maybe of that transcription. And finishing up, we're going to send an email alert that a new transcription has been created. And what do we need for all this? I find it's helpful to you know do this kind of planning beforehand, before creating a scenario that'll save you time because you can if you get a little more practice, you can just flow through the creation process. So we're going to need a Google account, obviously, Gmail and uh, Google Drive. And you need an OpenAI API key, obviously, which you can get uh, under this link if you don't have one already. Oh, and this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. So I hope this makes it easy for you to follow along. Let's go. All right. So here I am in make.com. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect a Google Drive. And we're going to watch for a file in a new file in a folder. Really matter what we do, and I'm going to create take my test folder here. And I want to limit this to one because I only want to run this for one new file. So in case of one, it will only run for one new file. In case of 10, it will run 10 times with 10 new files, and you can go crazy as high as you like. So depending on how many files you expect to be in that folder at any given time, this scenario updates. All right, and over here you have the trigger. So this folder will be checked every 15 minutes for new files. I'm going to leave it at that, but you could change this. I recommend lowering that down because every check consumes one of the operations that you have. So you could quickly run out of credits if you check things too often. Okay, so in the next thing we're going to do is we're going to download the file that we just found. So we're going to need a download file action here. And we are going to... Enter the file ID of the file that we just found. So the file ID from the action before. Then we are going to pass that file through the OpenAI Whisper API. And here we are, create a transcription Whisper. So the file is already mapped. The model is Whisper. The prompt is, please transcribe this audio. Then we are going to take the transcription that we just created and create a summary of that. For that, we are going to choose the ChatGPT module here, and we are going to create a chat completion with, let's go with GPT-4, why not? You could choose any other that you want. So, roll. Um, here, the, the difference is with system, you can give it an instruction, like you are my social media manager, you are a perfect transcriber, you are a, a genius data analyst or something. And with user, you can just give it a prompt and that's it. So for this case, in this case, this is, um, we're just going to go with user and the message content is going to be the prompt. So here we go. Please always be friendly to your AIs, right? Please create a summary of this transcription. And we're going to paste in the text which is the transcription that we created in the step before. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a Google Doc with the transcription that we just created. So we're going to need the Google Doc module. Here we go. And we are going to create a document. Name is going to be transcription of, we're going to take the file name maybe, and for this content field, you can go a little extra because the content field, as you see, it supports HTML, so we can make the file a little prettier. So we can include a headline and say this is the transcription of file file name. And then we have a headline, another one with a, the summary. And here we will enter the summary of the transcription, which is the response of the ChatGPT prompt that we just created. And this you can find in the ChatGPT step and the choices, messages, content. That is the reply 
that uh, ChatGPT has given us. All right, and for just good measure, we're going to include the full transcript script as well, just to see what that looks like. And with that, we are almost finished. I just need to set the location down here. We're going to use the test folder again. And I said we wanted to create an email alert for this as well. So let's add a Gmail module here at the end and send an email to me in this case with the subject trans new transcript and the content is here's a new transcription and we will add a link to the Google Doc that we just created. So if you don't know which one to choose, just uh, search for link here and I'm going to go with web view link. I have this at the end. All right, you could also add this as an attachment, but I'm just going to leave it in the email body. So with this, we have created our transcription scenario. So let's run this for the first time. Actually, I usually like to run the scenario every time I add a new step so I can debug it easier, but let's just run it and see what happens. So running this once, it has downloaded a file. It is passing that to the Whisper API. It is doing something over here at ChatGPT. It is creating a document and it is sending an email. Okay, so here's the email that it just came in and we have the subject and the text that we ended up. And here's the link to the transcription file. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. So uh, in this case, the summary and the transcription text is almost identical because it was a really short file, but it uh, actually worked. So I'd say that was a success. Okay, and finally, let's add a translation step in here. So we're just gonna click between these two modules that we've selected and we're going to add a new module and it's going to be a GPT one again, create a completion. And this time we are just going to tell it, choosing the model again. And for the prompt, we'll just say, please translate this text into German. Why not? And the text is again, in the choices message content. And of course, we want to add the translation German into our Google Doc. So let's just copy this over here and call this translation in German. Um, and here, uh, both of these things are now called choices message contents, but you get a little hint with the number in front of it. It's a little difficult to see here, but all of these modules have numbers in the order in which you add them to the scenario. And the last one that we added was number 10. So in this case, the German translation is not seven choices message content. We need to pick the one from 10. Here we are, choices, messages, content from number 10, and here we go. So just like that, we've added a translation also to our scenario. All right, and just like that, you've used the latest AI technology to create an audio transcription service all within make.com and it will take you for like five minutes if you have more practice. One thing to note, the audio files that you run through the Whisper API must not be bigger than 25 megabytes. That's a limit that they have uh, on file size. If your files are bigger, try using a different audio format or try chopping them up into several pieces. But I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This is a very small channel uh, and I'm just getting started. So if you really uh, got something out of this video, I'd appreciate a like and maybe a comment what you'd like to see next and have fun automating.